story of the Dark Heart. The Ghost Song clan knows it well. My clan. Once. I need to speak with my sister, Nathari. She studied the old secrets. Knows about prophecies both ill and fair. If anyone can glean the mind of Lady Belain, it's her. Traditions passed down from our foremothers. Like the story of the prophecy of the Dark Heart. It deals with souls, shadows, endings. I know the core of it, but Nathari understands the nuances. Unfortunately, we haven't spoken in a long, long time. An outsider? Not likely. We need someone to intercede on our behalf. We need Brayden. He's a friend, and he holds the respect of the clan. If he vouches for you, Nathari might talk to you. He often visits Rolden Ring to trade news. Meet me there. Brayden can speak to the mood of the Ghost Song clan. Tell him what you told me. I'm sure he'll help us get a meeting with my sister. He's a werewolf, mind you, but I've never had a truer friend. Look for him at Roldan Ring. I'll meet you there. Roldan Ring is an ancient site southeast of here. It's neutral ground, a place where all clans of the Ridge can gather to trade and share stories. Brayden visits the place a lot. He loves to chatter with other clans. Years ago, we argued about what the Spirit Queen's teachings meant for our clan. Nathari believes that we're meant to return to the old ways, the dark ways, to seek Namira's favor. I believe those days are better left behind us. More like the clan left me. My sister turned them against me. As the days grew darker, the Ghost Song Witches found it easier to see things her way than mine. Regardless, my people will always be my people. The Spirit Queen often speaks to the witches of my clan. My former clan. Oh, we honor all the spirits of the Reach. But the Spirit Queen herself chose our foremothers to be the keepers of dark and powerful secrets. You know her as Namira. And yes, she is a spirit of death. Your soft priests and their stone houses see her as a fearsome specter. Fools that they are. Reach folk know the Spirit Queen as a guide. She watches over us when we take that final journey. And your friend is a vampire. Werewolves are her scenes chosen. Many of the Reach's greatest champions are skin changers. Raiden and the other werewolves are nothing like those Grey Host Ravagers. They're the clan's loyal protectors. I... I know her scene's gift when I see it. There are two kinds of werewolves. Those who master their gift and those who are slaved to it. I can tell which you are. In the Reach, we judge you on what you do, not what you are. Mostly. Raiden, what news of the Ghost Song clan? Your sister led the clan to Lost Valley. I was about to join them. Who's the outsider? An ally against the Grey Host. I'll let them tell you themselves. An outsider walking alongside the great and powerful Arana. That's not a sight I thought I'd see today. And she says you're an ally. Tell me, outsider. Why do you care what happens to the Reach? An outsider come to fight outsiders. I wish you hadn't brought your war here in the first place. 
Speaking with Nathari is going to be difficult, even if she would agree to such a meeting. She's taken the clan to Lost Valley, I doubt. That's just what the Reach folk call it. It isn't actually lost. We know exactly where it is. It's a sacred place from a darker time. Nathari said the time had come to return to Lost Valley. Promised the clan a great revelation. I'm not sure, but I'm no witch. Some of our rituals aren't meant to be shared with outsiders, I'll tell you that much. Still, if Arana says it's important for you to speak to her sister, I believe her. I'll vouch for you, outsider. As I said, the place is sacred to us. The Nords built a great barrow there, but long before that, Lost Valley was a place dedicated to dark worship. Not all Reach Folk practices involve blood and sacrifice, but many of our oldest traditions do. Lost Valley was a center for such activity once upon a time. Oh, don't worry. You're helping Arana. I won't offer your heart to Namira. Not today. Yes. We grew up together in the Ghost Song clan. I was furious when the clan banished her. I almost followed, but I couldn't. The clan needs my protection, especially now against the Grey Host. Lost Valley Redoubt. A revelation. I don't know what Nathari is planning. I don't like the sound of it. We need to see what's going on in Lost Valley. I'll meet you there. I'm off to Lost Valley. If you want to find your sister, that's where she'll be. Why Lost Valley, Nathari? What are you planning, my sister? This is an open sky. Nothing better than a piece of solitude. You're lucky you came. This Greyhost scout has been clawed to pieces. Braden's work, I presume. But why are these monsters here in the first place? Braden must have gotten here ahead of us. I'd recognize his handiwork anywhere. It seems that the redoubt is overrun with Greyhost troops. We'll need to get past them to reach the old ritual site. The Nords built their barrow over the caves that were once used by my ancestors. The Spirit Queen led the first Ghost Song Matron to a spot deep beneath the Redoubt. I think that's where Nathari has taken the clan. They haven't. My mother had the entrance to the Barrow concealed when I was a young girl. No one has used it since before I was born. I always knew those old stories interested my sister. But I never expected her to lead the clan down there. Nathari is younger than me way too sure of herself. When I was the clan's matron, I tried to mentor her, but she follows her own heart. Witches can be a stubborn lot. 
Only wish she heard others as well as she thinks she hears the Spirit Queen. Doesn't matter what I think, it's what Nathari believes she hears. What she sees in every sign important. From what Brayden said, she thinks it's time to return to the old ways. Blood sacrifice and dark magic. I wanted nothing to do with that. Nathari wanted to be Matron, and the clan. They were ready to choose her over me. I wanted to forge new traditions, but she promised them the Mira's blessing if they heeded the old ways. Fear and superstition are powerful motivators. A werewolf killed this vampire, and it wasn't one of those grey host mongrels. Graydon would have easily beaten us here, and I know his preferred method for delivering a quick kill. I imagine we might see more of his handiwork inside the redoubt. I don't understand. It's like the Grey Host is guarding this place. It doesn't look like the Grey Host attacked my clan. At least not yet. We need to find them. Yeah. Plus a Grey Host command camp up ahead. We've already had Let's trouble. See what they're one doing here. Remember, he might not have come alone. See what you can find. Grey Host scratchings. What does it say? Must I handle this myself? Well, do those scratchings on paper tell you anything about what the Grey Host is doing in Lost Valley Redoubt? I never should have let Nathari push me aside. She was always drawn to darkness, even as a girl. Lady Belaine must have found her eager to believe the right lies. Does that letter say what Belaine hopes to gain from my sister's foolishness? The Dark Heart again. According to the prophecy, death awakens the Dark Heart. By the spirits. What evil has Belaine convinced my sister to perform? We need to find Nathari and stop her before something terrible takes place. A stranger visited the clan when I was young. She asked about the old lore. She wore a smile, but I saw darkness in her eyes. Years later, when I saw her beside the Ard's throne, I recognized her. Lady Belaine. And she hadn't aged a day. Aye, but my mother spoke in generalities. Lady Belaine spent a lot of time with my aunt, though. She was one who saw every word of the prophecy as literal truth. In fact, she taught Nathari her lore. No wonder Lady Belaine sought out my sister. The full telling requires hours. We don't have time for that, so I'll be brief. An ancient darkness slips beneath the ridge. At the end of days it will awaken, covering the land in shadow and devouring all. Only Namira's faithful will be spared. Yes, but Ghost Song witches have argued about the nature of the heart for generations. Some believe the prophecy is symbolic, 
There's darkness in every mortal heart. That's my view. Others believe the prophecy is meant to be taken literally. That the dark heart exists. Death feeds it, and only sacrifice will awaken it to share its power with those that believe. Dark illusions like that. Nathari believes the prophecy speaks a literal truth. Maybe she's right, but it's still wrong. Yeah. We're going the right way. The entrance is farther up. Keep going. The entrance should be here somewhere. Look around. Ah, you found the rock. That's actually the door, but it will only open for a ghost song witch. Well. and all around. Nathori must have started the ritual. Dare Nathari allow Greyhost soldiers to prowl these holes? Ritual sacrifices. Nathari wants the clan to return to the old ways. These dead are ancient. Clearly not my sister's doing. I can't believe she actually did it. Nathari sacrificed this ghost song hunter.
Anthari, no! What have you done? The hour is upon us, dear sister. You must feel it. The darkness. You sacrificed our own people. Oh, poor Sagan. I should have expected Arana to take up with outsiders. She always rejected the old ways. This is no place for one who doesn't hear the spirits of the Reach. You're not worthy to walk these sacred halls. And every one of them gave up their life willingly. They gladly died to awaken the Dark Heart from its slumber. Arana may deny it, but this is the day Namira has been preparing us for. We give our souls to the Dark in return for eternal life. You sound like Braden. True believers see the honor in this sacrifice, but not everyone can overcome the fear that whispers in their ears. The flesh quails even when the spirit is strong. No matter. We help them complete their journey. Why does this matter to you, outsider? The ghost song hunters, the true hunters, Gather below, ready to give their lives for the Spirit Queen. Braden will too, when his time comes. I shall complete the ritual, and awaken the Dark Heart. The clan chose me, Arana. The Spirit Queen demands death, and I shall give it to her. Damn it. I should never have left. No. I can't allow this. We need to find Braden and the others. This is horrible. Nathari has convinced herself that she's doing the will of the Spirit Queen. And she persuaded at least some of the clan to go along with this madness. We have to find a way to stop her. Aye. That seems to be the long and short of it. The Dark Heart will beat again, and its power will surge up from the deep places to consume everything. Its darkness will cover the world. And the prophecy talks of death and destruction. But it also says that those who embrace it will be spared. There's power in the darkness, especially for those who believe and hold true to its word. Now let's go try to save my clan from this madness. The old matrons mentioned a ritual cave, deep within the burrow. It must be this way. Song hunters loyal to Nathari. Surely some must have opposed her. dead. It seems when they did fight back, they were quickly overwhelmed.
This is madness. Nathari will bring ruin upon the entire clan. Senan. Not you too, old friend. What's that beside him? What do those scratch marks tell you? Not many of my clan learned the scratchings, but Senin could read and write the Imperial language. He spent years in Morakar's Imperial Guard. What did he write down? As we've seen, Nathari has convinced some of the clan to support this mad endeavor. This is Lady Belaine's doing. Spirits take that woman. She's laughing far from here and safe. Well, Nathori does exactly what she wants. I... I remember that from the stories. A cavern where the floor drops into darkness. That's where the first Ghost Song Witch made a bargain with the Spirit Queen. Legend says the pit divides the land of the living from the dead. Let's keep moving. Dark magic from below. We need to hurry.
the dark heart stirs. You can't stop the prophecy from being fulfilled. Fool! You can't stop this now! Every sacrifice strengthens the darkness. Below us, the darkness gathers in that infernal pit. I can feel it. The dark heart, it's waking up! The darkness, it responds. The Dark Heart awakens. Give your lives so the Dark Heart may beat again. Too late, sister. 
The prophecy is fulfilled. Stop Nathari before she feeds my entire clan Die to the to darkness. Feed the darkness. The darkness it makes Nathari stronger. I'll try to contain it. its lumber. Raiden, you're alive. Thank the spirits. I knew Nathari's ideas were folly. I knew Nathari's ideas were folly, but this? With her own hand, she gave her kin to the darkness. She would have killed all of us if you and Arana hadn't arrived. Nathari was a friend once, before she became obsessed with the old ways. If Lady Belaine put her on that path, then I've got a score to settle with her. And I'll fight to protect what's left of us, few though we may be. Aye, we'll fight. There aren't many of us left, but most of us are werewolves. Lady Belaine will regret the day she turned our own witches against the clan. That... I promise you, we'll make our way to Rebel's Retreat. I'll look for you and Arana there. Go. I'll meet you back at Rebel's Retreat. 
I want to say a last prayer for the dead before I leave. Maybe I can free my sister's soul from the darkness that took her. Give her some modicum of peace. This isn't your fault, Garana. Nathari could only see her own visions, hear her own spirits. Nathari's madness was her own, Arana. We'll follow you. What you bring us, Arana? Brighton pups? Brighton pups? My hunters are the equal of ten of yours. Do you care to see our claws and fangs? Save it for the grey horse, skin changer. Let's see what they can do on the training field. We'll show the Grey Host. We'll show everyone. The Ghost Song clan still has some fight left in it. Just point us at the prey and let us loose. The news that Lady Belain was invoking the prophecy of the Dark Heart. I never expected it to lead to the decimation of my old clan at the hands of my sister. Still, I can't help feeling that this was a rehearsal. For something even more terrible. The prophecy says it takes more than a handful of deaths to awaken the Dark Heart. Oh, Nathari got something to stir. But I think Lady Belaine just used her to test the waters. The darkness responded though. Thank the spirits you stopped the ritual. The Grey Host won't stop until they drown the Reach in blood. It's like the old Ghost Song prophecies. The end is coming soon. I need to consider what happened in the Barrow, Harrier. Think about what I could have done to save my sister. What I can do to save the clans that look to me to lead them. Oh, is that your friend Gwendus over there? I think she's looking for you. <laughs> 